What's up, Jeff? Let's see here. There was one song I wanted to send to you. Uh, I got a heavy. It was recorded in Audio Dallas in Rockwell, Texas, 1992. Got most of the airplay of my recordings because the track was included on a compilation CD featuring local bands. The guy who created it, George Gemark, was DJ at the Edge radio station. Remember the Edge? His airplay was guaranteed. That's always good, right? Uh, in the early 90s, I heard it crank. The house party couldn't believe how powerful it was. You'll sure notice the double track vocals. Guitar player was Eric Presswood. Um, you like, let's see, and then there's Brian Hurley. French effects, I think you'll enjoy the flanger effects of the climax of solo. Look at this video, you'll see a drawing of me wearing a turban as part of the artwork and the set album. Let's check it out. I love the panning effect, it's cool. Brand new bass strings. Sounds like it, you guys actually played the song down. Cool. Wow. Good drum fill. Nice. Great fill again.
Cool. Um, one of the things that I notice from it being from the 90s um, is the uh, that it's not all ultra compressed. Uh, but the other thing I notice is that it's not very loud. Uh, not ultra compressed, ultra limited. Uh, and the loudness, um, I mean, this could really be remastered and, and, and brought up to level because it's, I mean, I'm really cranking it loud in my system here. Um, and it's very, very low in volume. Uh, no matter how it was mastered back then, it's not mastered like records are today. Um, and it needs, um, to me, it needs some real low end in, uh, it needs some compression and it needs some bottom end added to it. Um, I mean, I would do that now. If I had a record from back then, I would re, re, I'd remaster it and put it out, you know, something like that. Uh, on my own, because you can easily do that yourself, um, and I would mess around with it. But um, uh, cool tune, cool tune. The drums are good, but just the bass is really weak. Even though the bass is clear, when the whole band is playing together, it just the low end is just um, is um, very thin. I like the the tambourine or shaker. Great singing, I mean, the solo's way too loud in the mix, but... That reminds me of the Andy Summers solo in, um... Tears, um... Uh, what is the song? Driven to Tears. That's what, that's, uh, that, that's the type of intervals. Uh, really good tune um, executed well you know the the kind of the 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 mix things it's it's actually mixed well for the time period but like I said it doesn't really have the low end of a modern recording um, and that could definitely be addressed by a remastering of it something you could probably do in 30 minutes or so a good remastering or somebody that has a good ear could do a good remastering of it in about 30 minutes or so but uh, really cool Thanks.